Okay, we're finally out of the woods on season 4 and having to rush out a video on a weekend. I'm not really one that can pump out intelligent thoughts in an afternoon at 2000 miles an hour, so my videos aren't really up to scratch. Luckily, with that restriction taken away, I can spend more time making sure my reviews are more beefy and feature actual reviewing, as this particular fluffer not so eloquently told me. Thank you for the advice, by the way. So, on to my overview of this season. Season 4 of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic is quite possibly the best one of the entire run of the show, the main focus being continuity and further development of its characters, offering some much needed development for characters who haven't really had much development, or had really awful episodes such as Spike, who had amazing episodes this season like Power Ponies and Inspiration Manifestation. Though this season wasn't really the best for one of the characters, I am of course talking about Pinkie Pie, with episodes such as Three's a Crowd and All of Our Bizarre and quite frankly inappropriate non sequiturs in the early episodes. Along with her really out of character attitude and Philly Vanilli, she's easily my least favourite character this season. She did have some redeeming moments such as Pinky Pride where she acted in a mature and believable fashion but all of that is sadly ruined by her weaker moments. Pinky has real potential as shown in Season 1 in Party of One, showing us how Pinky's mind works, and other decent episodes like A Friend Indeed where she basically nags some pony until he becomes her friend, an attitude some may consider to be rude or annoying, but it works. Sorry, getting off topic here. The season was also really interesting for characters like the CMCs, who had amazing episodes, all of which felt believable, including amazing episodes such as Flight to the Finish and Twilight Time, which I will be reviewing later on. It's on my schedule after all. In the past, the CMCs have gotten little to no character development, and their attitudes towards their own inner conflict was a random search for their special talents. And in Twilight Time, they finally learned that the best course of action is not to just randomly search for it, it's to actually look for something that they're truly good at. Also. Wilhelm Scream. So, another of the plotlines brought in from Season 3 was the Equestria Games. Continuity between episodes was possibly one of the best parts of this season, and the execution of this one was lacklustre to say the least. Episodes like Rainbow Falls ruined what could have been an interesting story arc. Luckily, we had Flight to the Finish to save it. As it stands, I haven't really offered much of an opinion on the Equestria Games episode despite having a review on it. While we're on disappointing story arcs, let's talk about Princess Twilight. Her role as princess isn't addressed a lot, and when it is addressed, it is not done well. Let's look back at Rarity Takes Manhattan. The problem most people have with that is that Twilight couldn't even get a taxi for Rarity, that she didn't use her newfound power as princess to overrule everybody. But the reason she didn't do this is because of her already established insecurities as the Princess of Equestria. Because of the fact that Twilight's new status didn't affect her appearances in most episodes, and did in others, really just removes the credibility of the episodes that address this topic. So, from a disappointing arc to a surprisingly great one, I am of course referring to Discord's redemption arc. Beginning in Keep Calm and Flutter On and being resolved with Twilight's Kingdom, it was promising to see such a chaotic figure being given a bit of perspective on how lonely all his chaos is, and it was sobering for him to know that without Fluttershy he'd have no friends, and once he had a friend he really didn't want to lose her. Throughout season 4 Discord was a sort of will he won't he character, but I always had faith that Discord really did want friends, but others didn't agree, including the main six. Others didn't like the idea of Discord being completely reformed, and to be honest, neither did I, but the season finale handled it in such a way that it made sense for Discord to become good. An example of his progression is how he acts towards the main six in Three's a Crowd. At the time, he wanted all the benefits of friendship, but none of the responsibilities that come with it. It reminds me of Sheldon in The Big Bang Theory, but that's another basket for it altogether. Discord didn't know how to be a good friend at the time. He thought that friendship was all about your friends serving you and not doing anything for them. But friendship is a two-way street. So the box, or chest of harmony, was introduced in the season 4 opener and is the pony show's first season long story arc. Though to be honest, they took their time addressing it. I mean sure, they hinted at it in the next episode, but the key finding had a bit of a delay. It's just a little bit inconsistent. So it was a bit dragged out for sure. 
but it was clever. It was resolved in the finale to be the container of the Rainbow of Light, something featured in Generation 1, along with T-Rex himself. I was really disappointed at the reveal of the Rainbow Power a while before the finale, and thought it would probably have been more surprising if we hadn't known about it beforehand, but then again, it probably would have sparked much more controversy. And you know how much bronies like to get into a tizzy about nothing all the time. Season 4 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic gets a 6 out of 10. Most of the season was amazing, but when it fails, it fails pretty damn hard. Just look at episodes like Dare and Don't, it ruins what could have been a perfect season. So I guess this episode ends my weekly coverage of season 4. I will be covering episodes that I feel I want to talk about, and some that I feel I need to redo. So I'm the Ponyville Critic, thank you for watching. I will see you all again for the weekly series in season 5. There's music in the treetops.